Today, Sunny and I are pool cleaners. Our job's pretty regular. All we do is clean up the pool and fill it with water until something goes terribly wrong. We get sucked into the pool back rooms. This place is super creepy. And what's even worse, we're not alone. Can Sunny and I escape and survive? Stick around to find out. Yo, Melon, welcome to our first night shift in the pool rooms. Our job is to clean the pools and refill them with fresh water. That sounds easy enough, Sonny. For us, water is my specialty because I'm a watermelon. That's literally what I was about to say, bro. So should you like stand in the pool and I'll hit you with a hammer so you can fill it up with water? That sounds like a great idea, Sonny. Just don't go too hard and destroy my rind. Bro, I'm gonna take a sledgehammer and absolutely turn you into a smoothie. So can we just stop talking about this? Fine, no more smoothie comments. Let's just see what the receptionist has for us. Good evening. Are you ready to start your shift? I'm more than ready. All right, good. First, you have to clean the pools. Melon, I really don't trust this receptionist. They feel kind of creepy to me. Nah, uh, they feel all right. Then you have to use the mop to clean around the pool. Then simply fill the pool with water and you'll be done. All right, Melon, well, it's time to get to it. Well, Shunny, let's go feel the pool up. You're gonna feel it or fill it? What are you doing, bro? I'm feeling it, dude. First, we have to clean the dirt, though. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Look at the size of this pool. And some kids pooped in it, bro. Ew. Bro, why did they poop it in the pool? It was probably you, if I had to be honest. Bro, I didn't poop it in the pool. I'm cleaning this dirt. Get out of here. No, I was cleaning it first. Yeah, I did it. No, what? I totally cleaned that first. I'll clean up the poop in the pool then. Fine. Yeah, Sonny, you would do that. You like poop so much. Bro, I'm gonna put it in a bucket and throw it on your face. Please don't do that, Sonny. That would be disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, bro, this looks filthy. How does this even happen? And all clean. Let's quickly take the mop from the storage room and clean up the puddles, Sonny. That's absolutely right, which is why I will go grab the mop, because you went the wrong way, bro. Dang it! Did you get it when I picked it up? I don't think so, Sonny. I gotta grab it myself. That's all good. I'll do the chores out here in the pool hall. You handle the rest of it. All right. Uh, uh, so you mean, uh... Melon, there are other puddles inside. Please clean them. But, Sonny, it's in the ladies' room. I can't go in there. It's fine. You're a watermelon. No one's gonna question it. Well, that's actually a really good point now that you put it like that. And it's after hours, bro. We are the janitors here. We have to go in every room and clean them. All right, Sonny. Let's see what the girls' bathroom looks like. Oh, it's exactly the same as the boys' bathroom. Are you sure it's not really cursed and weird and creepy and scary? No, I thought it would be nice and clean and beautiful, but it's the exact same. Well... I got all the puddles cleaned up. And have you ever wondered why whenever we're forced to work the night shift, it's just chores and then a scary monster? I have wondered, Sonny. It's like our boss is the evil one this whole time. I hope that's not the case. Not again. It's time we release the water. And feel the fuel. Bro, that was quick and instantaneous. It's like this water teleported in. It might just have, Sonny. Uh, Mel, what was that? Hold on, let me inspect this. Watermelon is on the case. Why is there a giant orb in the pool? Uh, Sonny, what is going on? It feels like an alien! Melon, I don't even know what night it is anymore. What just happened? Oh no. I think... We're in the back rooms. How does this happen to us? All we're trying to do is work a nice, normal job. And all of a sudden, we're in this place? What happened? Dude, the water's so realistic, Sonny. I don't like this. And it looks oddly familiar, like you said. Sonny, I'm scared. Me too, bro. But we've got to find a way to get out of here. And do it quickly, Sonny. I'm exploring. There's got to be something here. Yeah, let's investigate and follow the sounds. Whatever we hear, let's go closer to it, even if it's really evil and villainous. Sonny, I have a bad feeling the sound is coming from this way. Don't worry, we have mops. We'll be fine. True, we can defend ourselves with the mops. We'll clean up these bosses, no matter how evil they are. Is this the right direction? I, I really don't know. I think it is. There's a flashlight on the ground. Seems like the right place to go. I got a flashlight. Oh my goodness, that's bright, Sonny. Don't I look pretty? You are glowing. Thanks. Well, let's keep exploring, bro. There's got to be a way out of this place. That is very bright. You lead the way. I got you, Sonny. I'll find us a way out of here and get us home safe. And most importantly, I don't want to be late to work, all right? I really need this job. Okay, we should probably head this way. 
Uh, yeah. And Sonny, is the job that important to you? Yes, bro. It's more important than your life. What? Dude, this job pays minimum wage. Yeah, and I'm kind of desperate for cash right now, bro. Oh my goodness, Sonny. I'm starting to drown a little bit. Yeah, Melon, what's up with this light? Why is there orange balls everywhere? I don't know. But we've got to find a way out. And there's some writing on the walls which can help us. There's a giant exclamation point in the distance, just for the record. Oh yeah, I see that. But uh, it says, be prepared, find a way out. They lurk in the shadows, they're coming for you, get out quickly. So yeah, we should probably take note of that. Mal, get back here. Follow the orange balls, they're trying to save us. Are you sure? I hope so, otherwise these are lurking in the dark and we're gonna be very dead. But are we going the wrong way? I don't know, I'm just going to this exclamation point. These orange balls are very confusing. Yeah, I don't really know what they're trying to tell us. I think I am going the wrong way, maybe? I don't know, bro, I'm lost. Sonny, I think you're going the wrong way. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ah, uh, wait, there's something over here, Melon. Sonny, we're going backwards. What is that in the distance? It's a like button, press it now. <laughs> Got him. Sonny, that was such a gigantic waste of our time. You're following the orange balls the wrong way. Whatever, bro, as long as this video gets to 5,000 likes now, I'll be happy. Sonny, we're drowning. We don't have a lot of time. Our oxygen levels are getting lower. We gotta go quick. What the heck, bro? I'm gonna die. We'll survive, Sonny. We'll survive. Dude, that was so close. I literally had nothing left. I started taking damage. Same here, bro. But we made it in the end. Just be careful. They lurk in the shadows. I'm not afraid of them, Melon. I can handle this. Zero out of six? What? Are you kidding me? Do we have to press all those red buttons? I think we probably do. I literally tried pressing them. It wouldn't let me. But now, Sonny, that we found this door, I think we'll be able to activate these red buttons. You're probably right. Check it out. I bet you they're all gonna start glowing with an exclamation point. Oh, no. We have to find mysterious orbs, Sonny. What is up with these buttons, though? I'm not sure. Do you have a flashlight, my dude? Nah, I got a mop. I guess I'll be your light. Thanks. And now we gotta swim through this again? Yeah, but we can look for mysterious orbs on the way. Wait, Melon, I see one in the distance! There's an exclamation point, which means mysterious orbs are lurking. You're right, dude. The game's making it easy for us. Yeah, but I haven't seen a single monster yet, so I'm starting to get pretty nervous. <gasps> Wait, Melon, I can press this! Secret button! No way! Can we unlock a secret with this? I hope so, and I did see a bunch more of them. I'm going all the way back, Sonny, to collect this orb. But be careful, things lurk in the shadows. I know, I know. Just make sure if you see a red button that you go press it. I will. What's that sound? It's probably me, bro. My stomach's grumbling. I'm hungry. I'm pretty hungry, too. But I heard something coming from the water. No way. Uh, how am I supposed to get to this explanation mark? Don't tell me we went the wrong way again. Uh, I think we just gotta go around here. And I shall collect the first mysterious orb. And I shall press another secret button. You have to go right up to them to press them. Sonny, I found it. The mysterious orb! But it says turn back. Nah, Melon, you gotta press it. Grab the orb. Alright, I'm touching it. I touched one of six of them. Nice work. Five more to go and we'll survive this place. Sonny, there's writing on the wall that says, it's not safe. What's not safe about this place? What are they not telling us? All I wanted to do was clean pools. We should probably split up to cover more ground, Sonny. Yeah, I'm good with that, because I'm not looking for the orbs anyways. I'm looking for the buttons. Oh, can you please press the orb? I'm pretty sure it's close to you. Ah, uh, I'm almost there. Give me a moment. It's still pretty far, Melon. I don't even know if I can get there. I'll check for the buttons around here somewhere. I hope there's a doorway for me to get to this orb. Let's see. Oh, very nice, there is. It's a bit spooky, but I got it. Touch this orb. Two out of six. Sonny, the lights are starting to flicker a little bit. Dude, I don't have a flashlight. I've just been in total darkness. Are you serious? <gasps> I see another orb. I'm going to it. I will claim this orb, yes. We just need three more, Sonny. Ow! I just fell to my death! I'm actually dead! Are you kidding me? How did you fall to your death? I thought I would check down in this pit so I could see if there was a red button and I just died. I got a secret ending. Sonny! Well, Melon, it's all up to you. I got the fallen ending. I'll do my best to collect all these orbs and get out of here alive. Well, Melon, I'll just have to play through you. I'm watching your screen. I'm touching the orbs, Sonny. 
So be careful not to fall in giant pits of water. Now where is this next orb? Ooh, the orb isn't too far. Sunny, and I haven't seen anybody. It's been pretty safe here so far. Boom. Another orb acquired. I've got a bad feeling about this one, though. Uh, Sunny? What is that sound, Melon? What is that? I don't know what's going on. I'm really scared. Press the button. Press it. I can't. You gotta get closer. That's as close as I can get. Nah, told you you gotta get closer. I gotta find a mysterious orb, but I'm scared. Don't be afraid of the monsters, bro. They might be friendly. I'm a little bit spooked out right now, Sonny. I'm touching this orb. You're gonna be fine, Melon. It's all part of your imagination. Run to the exit? Oh no, I don't got a lot of time. I gotta go to the exit! But you didn't even get all six orbs, did you? I did, Sonny! I did! All right, well then run and, and maybe look behind you. Ah! What the heck is that? How am I supposed to survive that thing? What? I think it's because you looked at it. Dude, it says they hide in the darkness. I tried to shine my flashlight at it. Well, Melon, we died. At least we got two secret endings. And you guys could get that subscribe ending by clicking on it right now. Let's go. Today in Roblox, we're trapped on a scary playground trying to survive the night. But there's an evil clown on the loose who tries eating us. Please help us escape by pressing the like button in under two seconds. One, two, let's go. Melon, we're here on the playground experience, but I think our parents left us out way after dark. Yes, yeah, Sonny, where the heck are we right now? Turns out we just snuck out at night to play at the playground. Okay, Sonny, don't get in trouble. Okay, we gotta be very sneaky. Extra sneaky beaky. Ooh, what's this shiny purple thing? Bubble gum. Yo, you found one out of 12 bubba gums. I need more bubba gum, but we must go. Oh, I see another one over here. Yes, Melon, grab it. We need more bubba gum. But we also gotta get to the playground quickly. Bubble gum. And another bubble gum. And we're at the playground. Bro, this place looks so fun at night. Bubble gum, bubble gum. There is a lot of trash on the ground, Sonny. I'm not gonna cap. Maybe we should clean it all up then. Yo, we're such good people, bro. We sneak out at night to clean up trash from the playground. We are solid citizens, bro. We're like trash vigilantes. Exactly, dude. Any parent should be proud. Children by day, trash collectors by night. That's our superhero motto. And bubblegum collectors by day and night. Always bubblegum. Bubblegum. So much bubblegum now that I'm looking around. And so much trash, bro. We still need to clean up all these bottles. I know. And it takes forever to pick up an aluminum can for some reason. It's heavy, bro. How do I get to that bubblegum? I think I got to bounce on a trampoline. Boing. Oh, I almost got it. And there we go. And boys, I found something that piqued my interest. <laughs> yes. Yes. Melon, what are you doing? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Where are you, Sonny? On the playground, have Having fun, I'm collecting bubble gums. Bro, we need to put them in the bin, bro. Bring it to the bin already. Nah, I'm getting this bubble gum. And then I'm sliding. Oh wait, I can't, I'm just trapped. I saw you drink it, what did you do? I became super fast, Sonny, just like the flash. And why is there this creepy clown head? Uh, where do you see that? Right in front of me? Uh, it's probably just a toy we should clean up, Sonny. Don't worry about it. Probably just a toy, yeah. Why don't you clean up the toys? I will. And not look at the clown. Ah! Sonny, why? That wasn't me, bro. I told you not to look at the clown. You scumbag, Sonny. Stop jump scaring me. It's scary. Just pick up the toys already, bro. Once the playground's cleaned, we can play Sandman. Bro, you know I'm gonna win. Nah, bro, you never win. Gotta go all the way over here. How do you get up there, bro? You climb the slide. Look. Yeah, there you go. And give me that. Yeah. And then Melon, look. This is the creepy clown head. Sonny, I'm in the slide. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I see. Ah! Why? You shouldn't look at it. You're so annoying, bro. Put the toys in the box. I'm putting the toys in the box. Why do I gotta press this six times? Because, Sonny, the game devs are annoying. And I got the last one. Ding! Now what? We need to access all the bubble gums. It's time to build a sand castle, Sonny. First, we should grab a shovel. There it is. Here we go. Give me that. 
How do I grab it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Pick up shovel. And time to build. Exactly, Sonny. Yeah, I'm gonna let you build while I go collect bubblegum. Build. Bro, if anything, I should be collecting bubblegum. I'm so fast. I know, I know, but you're fast on the objectives, too. Look at you go. Come on, Sonny. Come on. What, you, you should probably be doing this. I can't even jump on these rooftops. Oh, I gotta use this and this. Bro, just build the sandcastle. I'll look for the bubblegum. Bubblegum! Wait, we only need three more? And then we've collected all 12. And that's another bubblegum. Yeah, there's only one that I can't find. Because I got the 11th bubblegum right here. I'm building a pretty crazy sandcastle. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well, I got 11 bubblegums. Let me come check on the sandcastle. Here, I'll let you finish it, Sonny. I'll let you do a little sandcastling. I'm gonna look for another bubblegum. Yo, Melon, I'm just gonna put the flag in. Here we go. There you go, Sonny. Boom! Sandcastle complete. There's a lot of abandoned buildings around this park. I'm not a big fan of it. Now let's build more towers around the playground. Bro, I'm building sandcastle towers everywhere. Let's go. Sonny, I can't find this last bubblegum. It's okay. I'm the bubblegum hunter. I can do it if you need me. Up here. Ran around this corner. Build it. Oh, I found a ladder up. Did you climb this abandoned building? Oh, Sonny, I found a secret key. What does it unlock? That could be pretty useful. Bro, we've got to find a locked area to see what it opens. Do you think it's going to get us inside of a haunted house? Maybe it'll open a secret toy chest? What are you feeling? Sonny, I think I know where this goes. I think it enters right in this maintenance building because there's like a keyhole here. Come on, let me in. Dang it, it won't let me in. I keep hearing like screams in the background like... Hey! Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Or is it somebody snoring super loud? Just the ambiance, Sonny. Don't worry about it. Did you open that house up yet? Did you find the last bubblegum? No, I'm trying to figure out where to use this key. I can't enter this house. And one more sand tower. It's all yours. <laughs> I knew you'd sneak in. I've got it. Wait, what the heck? Melon? I can't build it, Sonny. I think I have to have my shovel out. Here we go. It's almost as if the playground was our own little fortress, Melon. We've constructed it, and we will protect it. But now let's play a little bit. Woo! Play and get a hundred orbs. Dude, look at this place. It's lit up. Yes, collect them all, Sonny. It's litty. Litty. I was made for this. I was made for this, Sonny. No, those are mine. Ah. <sighs> Mm, it's okay. You get all the ones on the playground. I'll get the ones on the outskirts. And just don't run into the bad guy, okay? Ah! Sunny, stop! What? The bad guy can show up sometimes. So annoying, Shiny. I don't like it. Let me collect these orbs. Oh, you're getting those ones? Those ones are annoying. Thought you were gonna get the ones where you could zoom. I am, Shiny. Zoom! Did you climb this? That's cool. Yeah, bro. It's a rock climbing wall. Jump it! Oh, I missed. We just need... Oh, we got them all. Let's go! That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed my playtime. Same here, same here. But where's that last bubble gum? I don't know, Sonny. Can't find it anywhere. Yeah, what is that, Sonny? It looks like some kind of scary balloon. No, Melon, stay away from the red balloons. Everyone knows that's where the evil clown lives. It's actually a Halloween balloon. We've got to follow this balloon, but you're way ahead of it already. Yeah, Sonny, I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. But where, oh, where is it going? I think it's taking us to the last bubble gum. Yo, you're right, Sonny. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we did it. And then it's leading us into this creepy dark forest. Yeah, we should totally follow this to our death. There's definitely no bad guys or monsters or scary clowns or villains or anything that could possibly go wrong in here. Yeah, I don't think so either, Sonny. There might even be a giant blender where it only eats watermelons. Ah! Ah! Hello? Uh, Sonny, I don't like that. Why is there a clown? Hello, Mr. Clown! Run! Bro, bro, you are so fast. You are so much faster than me. Run, Sonny! I'm running as fast as I can. He's right behind me. Keep going, Sonny. Just zoom. Harness your inner Bloxy Cola. Ah! Bro, that was cursed. Woo! We made it back to the playground. We're alive. We did it. We're the goats. We are the goats. Um, but what do we do now? Why don't we just head home, Sonny? There's a, there's a clown that's very scary, and I don't think this playground's that safe. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, but it's also our playground. We cleaned up the litter, we put away the toys, we made sandcastles. We gotta protect this place. Oh, Shoney, we have two choices. We could either run or we could hide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna go hide. I found a secret key, so maybe I can enter somewhere. I'm gonna protect this place. <gasps> Sonny, come with me. I found a secret. Requires key. I've opened it. Nah, that's for babies. You have fun with that. I'm gonna protect our sandcastle. What did I just find, bro? There's a power box here, and there's a basement. What's in this basement? What have I found, bro? It's like a whole secret base down here. That's awesome, bro but I'm gonna hide right next to our sandcastle to keep it safe. All right, good for you, Sonny. There's some weird stuff going on. What is this door? What is this door? Open it. I need to see what's over here. Uh, oh, hey, Sonny. Wait, what? What do you mean, hey, Sonny? I don't see you. What? I'm in the can. I don't see... What? You didn't run away or hide. I got caught by the clown? What do you mean? I'm hiding in a barrel. What? I found a secret. You are dead. Well, guys... I showed you the secret dead ending. You die, but it's secret. And I'm showing you how to hide and save your sand castle. Wait, now I have to run? How do I run? I'm I I'm stuck in here. I got caught by Teddy and I'm dead. Uh, it says, try and find out what lies in the basement. Melon, you figured that out already. It's death. Yeah, I, I really didn't understand what happened. But it was ultra top secret. Goats, that was awesome. So make sure you like and subscribe. Today in Roblox, we're becoming YouTubers. We'll be staying up late to record, edit, and upload the best videos. The only problem is we have a crazy fan who's obsessed with our channel. And they're trying to break into our house. Can we survive every night in this story and get the evil fan arrested? Or will they sneak inside and kill us? Comment your guesses now. Let's go. Melon, it's night one of the YouTuber experience. This is gonna be a really scary story because it's basically our real life. Exactly, but real life isn't that scary, Sonny. I know, but we've got to make YouTube videos and these always have something bad happening late at night. You're right. I can feel it. This bacon hair noob's gonna kill us. Bro, I hope it's not him. Anyone but the default. I thought I could trust the bacon hairs. Also, why is this TV is so realistic. It's like better graphics than real life. Yeah, this is kind of weird. It looks really nice. Anyways, Melon, all YouTubers must start their day with chores, so pick up the trash. Yes, I'm doing that, Sonny. And all YouTubers are clearly filthy. Well, yeah. We just leave trash all over the house. There's no time to clean up, Sonny. You gotta record videos. All day. Nice work, Melon. We sure did a good job with the trash. Why is there banana peel there? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. But at least now we can finally start recording. Here, Melon, you do the honors. Yeah, I'm not gonna gonna step on that banana. Nice try, Sonny. Dang it. I am recording in progress. Recording Roblox videos. Hey guys, Melon here. I am new YouTuber who makes great Roblox videos. <laughs> Wanna see my Blox fruits? Bro, isn't this crazy? I'm recording a video of me recording a video. I know. And now you're editing a video of you editing a video. That's nuts. And it's completely edited. Let's go. And now I will begin uploading. This is the three-step process to becoming a YouTuber. You must record, edit, and then upload. And then, don't forget step four. Go viral and get rich, because it's all about making money. Did it work? Yeah, hopefully it goes well. And goes viral, sonny. What if it gets two billion views? If it gets two billion views, I will call you Mr. Beast. That would be awesome. Well, it's already picking up some traffic. We're getting views. Let's go. Except there was a weird noise, bro. There's someone digging in our trash. I bet you it's just a raccoon, though. Let me go outside and deal with this, sonny. Stay out of my property. Yeah, can't you tell we're making YouTube videos here? Get out of my trash. What the heck, bro? That was so cursed. Who was that? Melon, they disappeared just as fast as they appeared. They're probably not real. We're just seeing things. We should probably go inside, Sonny, just in case. I have a feeling that was just a trash bag blowing in the wind. We're just really paranoid. Ow, what the heck? You did slip on my banana peel. Bro, you're so annoying. Anyways, I'm gonna record another video. Here, let me get this one for you. Hey, guys. It's Melon back again. Today, I'm gonna play Blade Ball. Bro, obviously, I'm not playing Blade Ball. I'm gonna be playing Brookhaven Hide and Seek or Toilet Tower Defense. No, I'm Melon and I'm playing Bride Ball. 
All right, whatever, Shunny. I would smoke you in Blade Ball anyways. Bro, I'm just trying to imitate how you sound, okay? Is that really how I sound? I sound more like this. I sound smooth and deep voice. You know, you can't really imitate yourself. You're just talking and now changing your voice to sound different. I'll tell you what I do know what I'm talking about. Take a look at this. We're already gone viral. We have a silver and gold play button. How did that water get in here, Sonny? I don't really understand. Yeah, our whole place just miraculously flooded while we were filming. Great. Well, I'll clean this up right here. No problem. Hey, stop talking like that. That's not your real voice. You're trying to sound hunky or something. No, this is how I sound, Sonny. You don't sound like a sophisticated Chad. You still just sound like Melon. Uh, no, I sound quite like Joe from Family Guy. You know what? Whatever, bro. So, uh, Sonny, uh... Melon, let's just get serious. It's night two, bro. Things are gonna get weird in here. You're right. It is a little hot in here, Sonny. Melon, stop talking like that. Just use your normal voice. This is my normal voice, Sonny. Goats, I don't even know what to say. Melon is so embarrassed that I made fun of his voice. So now he's trying to sound like he's a smooth talking jazz player. No, this is how I normally sound like. I just change my voice for the videos. Oh, true, true. You're using your real voice instead of your lanky box energy voice. Woo, baby! Refill that air conditioner so I can film. I gotta make viral heat bangers. Best videos ever of the year. All right, Sonny, I'm refilling the generator. Goated, goated. I will be goated. You need to calm down. It's too much. Okay, I took a chill pill. I'm relaxing. How do I get back in this building, Sonny? Why is there no back door? Dang it. I'll give you a hand in a second. Let me just do this really quick. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, stay away from me. Yo, our computer is broken, dude. It overheated. Oh no, we ran too many edits. This whole night's gone wrong. What the heck? First it floods, then it overheats, and the Jenny breaks. <sighs> Go get the wrench. Stop trying to hit me with that. It doesn't even work. I wasted money on this. Yeah, good job, Sonny. <laughs> good job. That is so dumb. I want my Robux back, and I want them now. No. Also, Sonny, why are we getting a wrench to fix a PC? You're gonna hit it. You know, like, when things don't work, you just kick them? You can't kick a computer, so you hit it with a wrench. Here, let me do it. I'm gonna repair it from out here. Nah, I'm gonna repair it from in here, and I don't even have the wrench. That's stupid. That doesn't even make sense. And slap. Perfect. Nope, I slapped it. Nah, bro, it's in great condition. Don't worry. I'll make this next video. Nope, I'm starting the recording. Are you really doing everything from outside you are? Yep. <laughs> Whatever, bruh. You do all the work. I'm taking a nap. Good night. I gotta start editing now. Let me just carry the YouTube channels. Yeah, yeah. Do all the work while I collect all the rewards like this sleep over here. Hey, Melon, I just realized something. Yeah, what's that? We already have our first fan. No way. Who's that? I'm looking at it. Oh, you're looking at a literal fan, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god, bruh. No cap, bruh. Our next upload is gonna get us a million subscribers. Oh, thousands of views immediately the second they go live. Let's just hope our fame doesn't attract any stalkers, Sonny. Yeah. Odd timing for a phone call, huh? Yeah, very odd timing. I left you a gift outside. Enjoy. Melon, those were just some trolls, but you can go check for the gift outside. What are you doing, by the way? I'm trying to get on the roof. Whatever. I'm gonna go collect our gift. Sonny, I really don't like this. Why is someone watching us? Yeah, they literally graffitied on our house. How is this all happening so fast? Not cool. I gotta find a sponge out of the kitchen to clean that mess up now. It's okay, I got it, Sonny. Did you really grab it through the wall? Yes, I did. And now I'm cleaning it up. Let me come help, at least. How did they find our address instantly? This is so creepy. Bro, and then they did this? This is not what a real fan would do. A real fan would give us an actual gift, like a pumpkin pie. Yeah, and they said, I'm watching you. I'll never leave, bro. At least we've cleaned it up pretty easily. The paint was still wet, so it was easy to scrub off. We should probably make some food, Sonny, and then head to bed. That's true. It is three in the morning. All right, you cook us the food. I'll get the bed prepared for me to sleep and you to sleep on the floor. I put the food in the oven, Sonny, and I'm gonna eat good. Yep, and the floor's ready for you. It's night three. This is when things always go wrong. What the? What was that sound? Someone just threw a rock in our window and broke it. Mm. They can't be doing that. That's not a real fan's behavior. Ah, <sighs> they're so mean. Let me go patch up our windows and make sure they're secure. Yeah, I'm boarding up our windows. This is ridiculous. All we're trying to do is make YouTube videos. Exactly. Why are they so rude? Sonny! Bro, that wasn't me. Yes, it was. It's the same pop-up in every single video. <laughs> I know. I was hoping it'd be a new one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's make a video to tell everyone there's a weird fan. Hey, guys. So tonight, we got graffitied by this crazy fangirl. We could really use your help at identifying her for the police. Also, I'm goaded in Melon's trash. Hey, don't say that. Bro, I'm just speaking facts. No cap. No cap. Stop that, Sonny. Stop it.
it. Are you gonna edit that out? Bro, don't edit it out. It was a great outro. No, I'm editing it out. It's too late. Dang it. And I'm slipping on my own banana peel now. And upload. We gonna get heck of views, Sonny. We became famous overnight. Yeah, and people are gonna be watching this to try and help us find the crazy fangirl. Yeah. But I don't know if it's a girl, Sonny. But it definitely is a crazy fan. Nah, it's probably a grill. She probably got a crush on me. Mm-hmm. Sure, whatever you say, Sonny. We gotta go into the basement and fix the power breaker. Don't worry. I've got it. This is a really long hallway for a basement. I know. That's why I'm coming down with you so you have backup, just in case something goes wrong. This goes to the street, bro. This goes to our neighbor's house. What is this? What the heck? This might go to a whole other country. Are we going to Canada? Ah! Sonny, we gotta leave. They were in our basement the whole time. Uh, Melon? Melon! Oh my gosh! She killed me! She's so fast, Sonny! Oh no! Run. Just run. Sonny, she's gaining on me! Or it's gaining on me. I revived. That was scary. I can hide or run. Oh, Sonny, I've already boarded up the windows. I'm gonna hide. No, I'm in the bathtub. I can hide here? I can hide over there? No, you should run. You should run. Okay, I'm running. I'm getting out of here. I'm waiting for the game to finish before revealing my ending. Precisely the same as me. I'm hoping this bathtub will protect me from the evil fan. Melon, I got the stalked ending. I got found because I was hiding in a bathtub. And you died? Yeah, pretty much. I got the run ending. You made the right choice and ran away from the stalker. Let's go! But you guys shouldn't run away from our channel. Make sure you press that like and subscribe button right now. One, two, let's go! This is the scary story of an evil crazy man who escaped prison in Roblox. He's on the loose trying to destroy a mining company and every night he sneaks up to the forest near this cave and kills someone! We need to survive four nights to escape from this place. To help us avoid the crazy man, please press the like button in two seconds. One, two, let's go! Melon, it's night one, and there's always somebody watching us. Why do we always get stuck working the night shift? Yeah, and this time we're at a spooky mine shaft, Sonny. I don't like this one bit. Oh, actually, this is awesome. It's our first time working here, and it's just like Minecraft. Where's the pickaxe? Do you see any TNT? I want to blow this place up. Um, I, I don't see any, Sonny, but maybe if we explore the area, we'll find some. Come on. Aw. Uh, an office desk over here. It's got a radio and a flashlight. Oh, and a machine gun. Ooh, the machine gun might be useful. <laughs> Did you really slip on a banana peel? Listen, I didn't see it there, okay? It was very sneaky. Whatever. Just remove the caution tape, because we're going in. Uh, tape has been removed. Oh, what do you think's down here? I don't know. Probably something really spooky, though, Sonny. I'm not a fan of what's going on. Nah, bruh. It won't be spooky in here. We're gonna find diamonds. Entered the mine, and we need to wait for a cart. Wait, I hear it! There it is! What do we need to place in the cart? Oh, there's some stuff up here. I'll go grab some rocks or whatever. Maybe it's a pickaxe that we Need? Oh, yeah, we're probably gonna need a pickaxe, Sonny. We're mining for diamonds after all. Let's go. We gotta go to Y level 12. Got it. Can I mine your watermelon head? Just chill, Sonny. I need to grab my own pickaxe. Oh, what do you need? Oh, my goodness. Let me pick it up. Oh, you gotta grab this? Stop! <laughs> I'm just gonna throw some stuffs out. Wait, no! My pickaxe! You yeah, big old fool, Sonny. Oh, I got another one. I thought you were gonna troll me. Let me grab more stuff, Sonny. This is so annoying. Wait, we need more stuff? No, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure. I got a pickaxe already. This has gotta be all we needed. And now we need to place them in the cart. I'll place you in the cart. Hey, watch your mouth. Oh, yeah? Put the pickaxe away! Sonny, stop! I did! I put it in the cart, and now the cart's gone. Did it scare you at least? It did, actually. Wait, no! Not this! How many times are we gonna have to pick up the pickaxe? Alright, Sonny, make sure uh, we need to start alternating, and we need to do this properly. Problem is, when you pick up the pickaxe, it doesn't actually give it to me, so I'll wait up here then. Yeah, or just pick up a pickaxe and we'll alternate. It doesn't work like that. When you put it in the cart, I lose mine. Yeah, oh wait, really? Dang it! So I'll wait here, and as soon as you put it in the cart, I'll grab another one. And I'll wait up there, and then vice versa. Nope. You need to inspect the cart. I will wait here. I'll tell you when to come up. Um, Sonny, I've inspected the cart. There's a dead head! Wait, what? Yo! A noob got killed. Nah, but this is just a joke, bro. This is probably a prank. Uh, I really hope so, Sonny. Otherwise, everyone's dead. Just let the cart go and forget about it. Don't worry. Here, I'll check the radio for us. I'm already at the top. Stay down in the mines, Melon. Stay down in the mines. Okay, I'll stay down down in the mines, Sonny. I'm turning on this here radio, and then we're gonna speed run. Last warning. 
Many people have disappeared in recent days. The most recent attack was in a small restaurant next to the city. The authorities talk about a possible murderer or monster that is in the city. We asked people to stay home to stay safe. Thank you. Are you kidding me, bro? Another killer is on the loose. Or even worse, it could be a monster. Oh, Sonny, this is absolutely terrifying. At least we made it to night two. And no matter where we are, we're never alone. Because we have each other. Yes, exactly. And no, uh, totally not because there's a monster. Or an evil killer. I hope it's not a clown. I hate clowns. I will grab a pickaxe, Sonny. And you shall go deep into the caverns and I'll wait here and I'll grab one after you. You want to inspect that car over there? I don't think it was there before. I'm pretty sure this is our work car. Let me see. Inspecting. There's only a sledgehammer here that lets me smack other players. Should I get it? Yeah, as long as you don't smack me. Well, you're the only other player here, Melanie. Ah, dang it, I'm such a fool. Don't worry, I won't get the sledgehammer. I'll just pick up a pickaxe and got it. Hey, Melon. Hey, ah, you bought the sledgehammer, you scumbag. No, I'm clearly holding a pickaxe. What are you talking about, bro? Bro, just please put the pickaxe in the cart, Sonny. I don't have all day. Hey, I'm going down there. Chill. I heard you slip no, on that. No, banana. you didn't hear anything, Sonny. Placing the tool in the mine cart. Off it goes. Hey, seems like the supply trucks finally arrived. We've got to unload those boxes. Let me come help. We got five boxes to get, Sonny. Uh-huh. We're going to get all five boxes. We're going to get a whole bunch of mining materials. We're gonna use dynamite sticks to harvest up some diamonds. Alright, there's no truck driver here though, surprisingly. There's just an empty truck and a bunch of boxes. Yeah, that seems normal, right? Yeah, I don't know if I'd call it normal per se. I made it. Look at this truck, bro. This is a big boy. This is a Big boy! Stop! All right, chill. I'll take the last box. Perfect. Now we have to leave them next to the mines. Yes, of course. The box of supplies for the miners. But we're the only miners left because the other ones have lost their heads. Nah, dude. We're not miners. We're just box delivery cart people. Oh, you're right. We just load up the shopping carts. Back to placing pickaxes in mine carts. Bro, I put a flashlight this time. Oh, we're advancing. We're moving up in the world, sonny. Yeah, I, got, I have two flashlights. Flashlights, one that works and one that doesn't. I'm gonna give them the broken one. That's smart. It's very useful for the people in the dark caves. Yep. Here, have a broken flashlight on the house. Wait, the power's gone out. We should fix it. Dude, this light is clearly still shining, but it's not giving off any actual light. This is so weird. I'll go and fix the power box, Sonny. Here, do you need some help? I have a sledgehammer. No, just, just stop. Just stop with the sledgehammer, please. It's not the time. Oh, I was thinking I would use it to hit the power box. Ha! Ah! Oh my goodness, I just got jump scared. What happened, bro? You looked like some kind of guy with a mask and he was all bloody. It was super scary, Sonny. Ew, gross. He was probably eating burgers with extra ketchup on him. He probably was. And it's time, Melon. It's night three. A lot of things will not go our way. Which is why I shall acquire another sledgehammer, just in case. Stop with the sledgehammer, Sonny! Uh, Melon, I'm stuck in this tree. Melon! Melon, help! Nope, it's a karma. You deserve it. I'm actually stuck in this tree. I I can't reset my character. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not gonna say you didn't deserve that, Sonny. Bro! You definitely deserved it. No! I'm actually gonna be in here for the rest of the video! Oh, I found my way out. It's okay. Good for you, Sonny. Now I will place this pickaxe straight into the cart. And I will wait at the supply desk in case we need more items. What? What was that? Sounded like someone was taking a real big dump. I don't know, Sonny. I gotta make sure everyone's okay. You do that, I'm gonna stand on this treetop. Oh, wait. I'm closer than you. Time to investigate. Oh, I thought it came from the mines. Me too, but it came from the forest. Can you try and uh, recreate the noise we heard? Ah! Ah! It's more like... Ah! Ah! Oh, I found him. He's a dead guy. Must have been an accident. Wait, it says you are next. I was gonna say, read the post-it note, bruh. Maybe it wasn't an accident. We should probably head back to the mines. Yeah, I don't like this, bro. Back to the mines we go. And pretend I didn't see anything. That's crazy, bro. We just found a dead body. Maybe I should at least report this to the boss or call the police. Police. No, Sonny, we don't care about our own safety. It's time to put things back into the mine cart. I've got it. Don't worry, Sonny. All right, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Do you need some support down there? What if the monster shows up? Uh, it's okay, Sonny. You can just stay up there and collect the next item. <sighs> okay, I'll do what I have to do. Grab the item and place it in the cart. You got it. One broken flashlight coming right up. Into the cart it goes. And hopefully, this will be it for night number three. 
Oh no. What was, what was that? that? Melon, are you okay? I'm fine. But it sounded like a scream came from somewhere. But where? Don't tell me it's in the woods again. It's in the woods, Sonny. I think someone else got godded. Oh no. I hate when I get godded. It seems like it came from the trash can. Ah! 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 Run! He's so fast! Banana peel! It didn't work, Melon. It didn't work, Sonny. Just run. Just run or sacrifice yourself for me. No! This guy is hideous, bro. He looks so gross. He looks like a fish. I'm gonna make it. We made it! Oh, we need to get out of here fast, though, Sonny. Yeah, get to the car. We gotta move. Run or hide? Sonny, I will hide. You must run. Hold on, Melon. You need to get a gun or a sledgehammer. It's too late. I'm hidden. I'm gonna enter the vehicle. I'm out of here. Melon, are you okay? I don't know. I got the caught ending. He found you. Maybe it wasn't the best place to hide. Dang it! I got the escape ending. Well done. You started the car and managed to escape. Let's go. And if you goats want to survive every Roblox killer just press that like button and subscribe to our channel because we'll show you all the endings so we got hired to work the night shift as security guards on this cruise ship but the problem is it's haunted by an evil fish monster and we need to survive until chapter four to find the secret ending and it's not gonna be easy especially because our boss is an idiot he thinks we're lying about this fish monster i just hope we could save all the passengers on this cruise ship and you could save our channel by liking Making this video in under two seconds. One, two, let's get goaded. Hey, Melon, we're VIPs on this cruise ship. That's pretty awesome, Sonny. Surely nothing will go wrong. It looks like we're gonna be the night guards. All right, that should be easy enough, Sonny. Let's do this. Objective, turn on the security cameras. That makes sense. We wanna make sure we're keeping an eye on all the guests and that they're all safe and sound. All right, Sonny, you wanna get the ones down there? All right, I'll get the ones down over here. Yeah, sorry, I saw the swimming pool and I had to jump in. Come on, off the diving board! Ah, oh, I can't do it. And I have now officially activated my cameras. Check the cameras. We just turned them on. Oh, we got to go into the security HQ. Where is this, Sonny? I got it handled. I'm turning on the computer. Oh, Melon, that does not sound good. I'm so confused. Where are these cameras? I just turned on the computer to monitor them, bro. And it sounded like somebody just screamed. I think they fell off the ship. Hold on. It sounded like it came from the back. Let me go check it out. Do you know which way the back is? Yeah, it's right. Oh. <gasps> Sonny, do you see this? No. It's a dead salmon or bass. Hold on, I'm on the way. I want to investigate this fish. Who could have done this to such a thing? I have the dead fish, Sonny. Ew, that thing is slimy looking. How did a fish end up on the deck? How is this possible? I don't know, Melon. We're gonna have to go to the security room and report it to the boss. All right, let's report the fish to boss. Hey, boss, there's a dead fish on board. Do we allow fishing on this vessel? Oh. Well, this is kind of weird then. Melon, why don't you just put it back in the ocean? It's still wriggling. No, it's dead, Sonny. It's it's definitely very dead. It kind of looks like it's moving if you ask me. It's definitely not moving. It's stiff as a board. Whatever, Melon. You're about to get moving. Ah, Sonny, why? <laughs> I told you you were going to get moving. And ew, look at all this stuff. What is this? Why are there skulls on the ship? What is this? No wonder there was no passengers, Melon. Everybody's dead. What the heck? Why are we even on this? Melon, we will solve this mystery. We will become the Sherlock Holmes of this cruise vessel. But first, let's check the cameras. Oh, no. There was nothing, and now there's blood spots everywhere. I think that's watermelon juice or maybe ketchup sauce. Those are definitely not puddles. Those are blood puddles. Let me go clean it up. Let me clean it up. Where's the mop? You got that, Sonny. I'll chill here and make sure no other silly business happens. Sounds like a deal. Why do I get the feeling you're gonna be the one getting up to silly business? Why would I do that, Sonny? Whatever. I'm grabbing the mop through the wall. Let's go. That was awesome. Here's the mop, but I already got it. Ew. These aren't puddles, bro. It is blued. But I'm pretty convinced this is just ketchup or spaghetti sauce. I'm not so convinced, Sonny. Maybe somebody was blending watermelons. Sonny, no one would do such a thing. I don't know, bro. Kind of makes for a healthy, nutritious fruit smoothie. And that was nasty, bro. Whose blood was that? At least it's clean now. Um, Sonny, on the monitor, it looks like it's still very much there. Well, you just gotta update the security cameras. Anyways, though, I think we should probably get some shut-eye. Also, I didn't even see you clean up the blood. I don't think these cameras are working very well. Yeah, it's not a live camera feed. It just takes photos every now and again. That's so stupid. 
You know, it's not stupid. Night number two, chapter two, the warning. Someone's gonna give us a heads up as to what's happening. Yo, he said ahoy. <laughs> yeah, because he's a captain, Sonny. He sounds like a pirate captain. Wait, the ship hit a fish, so it flew onto the ship. Okay. That makes no sense. Melon, I got a feeling there's gonna be another fish. I have a feeling we're gonna see something very sketchy in the freezer. Ew, I don't wanna check the freezer. You can do that. That's where all the skulls are. Ah! Yeah, true. We already found the very sketchy stuff in the freezer. Hey, we got a note. What the heck is this? And what does it say? It's ancient hieroglyphics, but I've seen this in a book somewhere. I don't know what it means. Can I see it, Sonny? I'm holding it. You see it? Mm. Oh, that means magnet. Uh, to bird, uh, people with a pot, doing pottery, uh, and then they grow corn. So what does it all add up to? Hmm. Magnet, duck, pottery, corn. I don't know. Probably doing some, uh, uh some, some very interesting po I don't know, Sonny. I don't know what it means. Let's just go to the library and decode this, dude. It'll be way easier. Decode the note. Tell me what this thing means. Shiver me timbers. How does that mean shiver me timbers? This isn't an ordinary note with letters. It's from an ancient civilization where they do magnets with ducks. Hey, yo, we were trying to solve the mystery, boss. You asked us to go to the back of the deck. And now we've got to grab boxes from the security room. I, I mean, I hope we're at least putting in some new safety equipment. Popsicle boxes, Sonny. Wait, why are there popsicles all of a sudden? What's going on? Because, mmm, popsicle. I like a popsicle. Yeah, let me put this away. And <laughs> maybe I'll even have myself a strawberry one. This makes no sense. We went from investigating a dead fish to eating popsicles. I could have some popsicle and fish. Uh, what's talking to us? Ah! Oh my gosh, what is that? We should get out of here. We should get out of here. He's telling us to leave. He's a sea monster. Sonny, I don't like this. Let's go, let's go. The book was right. It says, watch out for the popsicle monster. Blood, the note, everything makes sense, Sonny. And the skulls. Actually, nothing makes sense to me right now. There was a dead fish, skulls, popsicles, and now a sea monster? I'm so confused! We gotta report this to boss. I hope the boss has an answer, bro. Or at least a crazy weapon for us to defend ourselves. Hey, Captain, we got a big problem. Uh, pretty much there's this giant cyclops fish monster that wants to kill us. Yeah, it's a sea monster. It won't leave us alone. And I'm not talking about when Melon poops in the ocean. Sonny, that, that's not it. You know what? That's not true, first of all. Melon? He doesn't believe us. He's just worried that we're gonna ruin his cruise ship. Oh, dang it, Sonny. As soon as we hit land, we should leave. I agree. A part of me wants to just leave on the emergency vessel. But Sonny, we could be miles away from civilization. True, and then what if that sea monster jumps into our little dinghy? And then he eats us alive. Nah, I get the feeling he only eats fish. I feel like he only eats people that eat fish. Oh no, you might be right. Night three, the sea lurks. What do you mean, bro? There was nothing going on on the ship. Whoa! I told you he's like a pirate. Boss might be bipolar. Yeah, he gets really mad, and then the next day after he sleeps it off, he's okay again. Well, let's just patrol all the rooms, Sonny. Make sure everything's fine. Yeah, nothing suspicious, right? But who's calling us this late at night? I don't know. Where's the phone again? All the way in the security room. I'll answer it, Melon. Picking up the phone. Let's see who's on the other end. Oh no, it's the sea monster guy! He's telling us he warned us and tomorrow the ship's gonna sink? Shiver me timber, Sonny! Not like this! No, chill! You just wasted a hit, Sonny, you just wasted a hit! Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn you into the greatest hit. Wait, more importantly, bro, everyone's gonna die tomorrow! We can't even tell the boss about it or he's gonna fire us! He doesn't believe us about this monster. And Sonny, I gotta show you something. Do you see this? Look at the pigeon. The who? The pigeon. What pigeon? Right here. I, I, I'm not seeing a pigeon. I only see this. Oh my goodness, you're so annoying. There's a bloody pigeon right there. I don't see it. I'm not even capping. I'm standing on it. Oh, wow. You're right on the floor. Oh my goodness, Sonny. You are blind. Anyways, let's just grab these materials and see if we can save the ship. I'm grabbing a red material. I, what are we doing this for? I couldn't tell you. Stop! <laughs> oh, we're gonna set up some alarms. This is a good idea. That way the monster won't even know what hit him. The alarms will go off and scare him right back into the ocean. Oh, uh, but of course, that makes so much sense. I'll install the last alarm in the security room. Yeah, man. 
I'm not afraid of no sea monster. Oh, I got a SpongeBob popsicle. I think the alarms are going off. He's here, not the fish monster. We've got to go to the alarm. Uh-oh, Sonny. Do you see the bloody footprints? There's a fish. This is bad. This is very bad. And it says, go to the back. I don't want to. What's up with all these dead fish? Sonny, we have no choice. Also, I've got a delicious popsicle. All hands on deck while we check out the back. Oh my gosh, Melon, these fish. My goodness. Triple fish. Three more fishes. Popsicle. I can't eat it. Ah, Sonny! Yo, I'm hitting him with my popsicle. Eat it, bro. We gotta get to the security room, Sonny. He's right behind us. Don't stop. Can he swim in the pool, you think? I have a bad feeling he can shortcut. Wait, he's so slow, Sonny. Check this out. But he can float on water. All right, let's just get in here. Get in here. That was close, Melon. That was way too close. Bro, he almost murdered us. I'm really worried about tomorrow, Sonny. He said he's gonna sink the ship. We have to find a way to stop him. But the only thing we can do now is go to bed. Chapter four, life or death. Huh? Oh, Sonny, did you hear that? It sounds like the fish monster. Uh, who's there? What the heck? He's so mean. Why? We need a call, boss. We don't have to care if he gets mad and fires us. Our lives are at stake. Boss? I think boss just died. Uh... Oh. Why is he so creepy? Oh no, Sonny. We've got to get out of here somehow. Boss is dead. We're the only ones left. We need to get on the emergency life rafts. But first, Sonny, we need to set them up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over here. It's everywhere. We need to destroy the planks. Or just move them out of the way. <laughs> we're setting up the lifeboats, Melon. And then we're out of here. That should prepare us for anything. Except for a Cyclops fish monster. Yeah, also, he's literally a sea monster. He's just gonna chase us in the lifeboats. True. And we can't even get help without the radar. Here we go, calling for help really fast. Of course it's broken. Oh no. We're doomed, Sonny. We just need to get a flare gun. I got it. One flare gun retrieved. Well, I shot it off. Nothing happened. Use the elevator to go to the rooms. We need to alert the passengers. We're actually gonna save them. I thought we were only gonna save ourselves. Yeah, same here. Ahoy, ahoy. Feels like nobody's here, bro. Batten down the hatches, cause I'm smacking this door open. That's it. I'm getting in. Wait, what? Is this all fake, Sonny? Where is everyone? Wait, what? He's on the TV! He killed everybody? No, no, our time is just getting started. You're not gonna get us. Bruh. No. He's evil. Why? Why? What did we do? We were just humble employees. I'm gonna fight him. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna beat him up, Sonny. Let's go! We tried to fight. We've made our minds up, Melon. We won't back down. We'll save this ship. Sonny, shoot him! Got him! Yes! We slayed the monster and saved the crews in time. And you goats can save our channel by pressing the like button and subscribing! Today in Roblox, we got hired by a dentist and forced to work the late night shift. The only problem is our actual boss got kidnapped and we're working for an evil dentist! We need to survive four nights in this place, find a way to save our real boss, and escape from this dentist office. Can you help us out by commenting tooth emojis? It'll distract the evil dentist and help us get out. Let's go! Melon, I know you hate the dentist's office, but tonight we have to work the night shift. It's not just tonight, Sonny. We're working four days straight. 96 hour shift! Oh yeah, I forgot. Our boss is evil! Just look at him! I don't think that's our boss, Sonny. I think this is a client. Wait, why? Why is a client coming to the dentist? You know what? I won't question it. We are a 24-7 dental office. If you need your teeth cleaned, cavities filled, we got you. No problemo. You know what's crazy about this story, too? We're competing with a barber shop. Dentists and hairdressers don't compete. People don't go to a dentist instead of getting their hair cut and vice versa. Who the heck's like, oh, I got a cavity. But you know what? I think I'll get my hair cut. It's because the boss really doesn't like the owner of the hairdressers and he needs to make more money than him. Oh, he wants to rub it in his face and close his shit. <laughs> Shop down, I get ya. Yes. And also, Sonny, it's time. We need to inspect this man's teeth. Wait, what? You just brushed his teeth and he left? I guess so. <laughs> You're a pro, yes. Melon. Oh, dang it. Staff only area and... Bro, we sanitize a toothbrush by spraying it with a water bottle. What the heck? Well, it's clean. Good work. 
I'm proud. Thanks, boss. I'm glad you're proud of us. Sonny, why is his voice changing? And why does he want us to go to the bathroom? I don't know, bro, but our boss sounds pretty evil. Also, are we even qualified to be dentists? Uh, yeah, totally, Sonny. Ah, what is that? <laughs> You got bit by some dentures. What? I don't want to be toothless. I don't think the boss is okay, dude. Something's wrong with him. I thought we were doing a good job. Why is he doing this to us? Yeah, that took a 180. First, he said we're doing great work and that we're professionals. And all of a sudden, he's saying he's going to strip us of our teeth? Uh, I don't know, Sonny. We should just listen to him and not make him mad. I agree. Not make him mad. <laughs> Yo, goats, check this out. I just muted myself on Discord. I am going to jump scare the heck out of Melon. Although it says jump scare everyone, so I got a bad feeling it's gonna scare me too. Where is the- Ah, Sonny! <laughs> got him! You're so annoying, bro. I'm just trying to check dental history. We've got to figure out whose these teeth belong to. Oh, you're right, you're right. Let's check the dental history. No records on this PC. Same here, bro. It's gotta be this one. Please have the dental records. Nope. Not a single record? Oh, this is really weird, Sonny. Bro, those chompers look crazy. Yes, boss, we shall get back to work. Sorry about that. We goofed off a little bit. He capped, though. No one's in the front. Oh, now they're in the front. Oh, madam, I want to brush your teeth free of charge. Yeah, this is really strange. I don't think people go to the dentist to brush their teeth. Well, they do to this dentist, Sonny. Here you go. Sparkling clean. You have a great night at four in the morning at the dentist. Yep. Uh, boss, just wondering what happened to you earlier? You were being a little weird. Well, your voice changed and you were getting kind of aggressive. And you said our teeth would fall out. Wait, what? Who was it then? Uh, boss, I'm pretty sure that was you. It said boss next to it. Wait, what is that sound? It sounded like thunder or maybe something falling. It sounded almost like an explosion, dude. Also, what's up with our office? Why are there weapons everywhere? Investigate the noise. It came from way here in the back, inside of the bathroom. You go in, Melon. I'm too much of a coward. I got this. Oh, it was just some kind of pipe, Sonny. Can you grab the wrench from the front desk? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll get the wrench and then you can do the repairs. After all, everyone knows watermelons are excellent plumbers. It's true. We hard harvest the poop. And now I'm fixing the gas leak. Melon, you're harvesting farts too? Disgusting. Bro, I harvest everything. Recycle everything. Because I'm saving this planet one melon at a time. Whatever. Let's just hope the boss doesn't get angry with us. Ayo, we survived night one and it's chapter two, the dumpster. Hey, Melon, that's you. Hey, I'm not a dumpster, Sonny. It's okay. Let's just focus up on what the boss needs. We gotta clean chairs. Besides that, I'm really confused about the toothless thing. So are we, bro. What? This boss is so rude. Dude, he literally called us that, and now he's threatening to fire us. It's fine. I got the spray bottle. Let's just go clean up all the chairs and not worry about it. Sonny, this couch is really dirty. It's got an assault rifle on it. Can you please clean it? No, I'm not cleaning it. I'm cleaning the chairs. Okay. Yo, speaking of weapons, why is there a weapon in this dental office? I, I don't get it, bro. This place is crazy. It is a dental office open 24-7, Sonny, so, you know, anything can happen here. Very true. The most important thing, though, is that we made it squeaky clean. Exact Amungo. More customers. Let's go. Come on in, client. We're open. Of course we're open. I'll brush their teeth, Melon. I got this one. All right, Sonny. You go in. You get in there and make it sparkly clean, no matter how disgusting it is. Ew! Oh, wait. Nope. That wasn't too bad, actually. And they seem pretty pleased with their cleaning. Melon, I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. This night is called the dumpster, and now we're going to talk by the dumpster. I have a feeling this isn't our boss. Sonny? What's up? What is up with the boss? Yo, he looks sick. What is he doing? Hello, boss. Hey, man. Yeah, no probs. No problem. But what's so important, Mr. Boss? And why are you dancing like a zombie? Uh... Get ready to run! Uh... I don't like this! I don't want to be toothless! This isn't how to train your dragon! Leave me alone! Sonny, we gotta get in here! How do we get to our car? Where's it? No, we need to go to the barbershop, you fool! Go to the barbershop! It says run to your car by the barbershop! I'm lost! Oh, no. Melon, he's gonna take our teeth out. Dun, 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 dun. Let's just go to work. Just go to work. Okay. But how did he get in front of us, bro? He teleported. I don't know, nor do I want to find out. I just want to make sure that our boss is happy with us. Let me check the boss photo, Shunny. Looks normal, except he's got red eyeballs. Oh, no. Wait, what? That's not our real boss, Sonny. It's a fake. This is terrifying. What happened to our real boss? We gotta find out. We've gotta save him. Sonny, did you hear that? Yeah, I got a bad feeling the real boss is dead. That sound, it came from the do not enter room, but it's probably locked. We need to find a key to open this. Look around, Sonny. Look around. I am, bro. I'm keeping my eyes out. I'm looking for a key. 
In the toilet, maybe? Oh no, Melon. It's time for night three, chapter three. Do not enter. I'm terribly disappointed in you. And we're terribly scared of you. Okay, okay. We won't leave as long as you don't pull out all our teeth. And it's time to get back to work, Melon. We gotta put our nose to the grindstone and take all of these appointments. Get ready to brush some teeth. I'm ready, Shunny, with the brush in hand. Good work. I'm sending the client in back. Good luck. Here you go, sir. Yep, let me get you sparkling clean right there. Another satisfied customer. But yeah, bro, our boss is really starting to confuse me. He's not even our boss. You're right. Oh, and I don't really remember much. Did he clear our memories? Bro, what the heck? We need to do some research, Sonny. Let's look around. Research the boss. Oh, I got his computer right here. What's he been up to? Local boss owner reported missing. Nobody knows. What the heck? There was a news report. How did we miss this? Six days. Weird. But we need to stop him and find our boss. No, no, this is evidence. We can't throw away evidence. Sonny, this is not good. We're literally getting rid of our only hope of finding the real boss. Or are we? Maybe the villain just ruined his own plans because we're gathering all the documents thanks to him. So we'll have all the evidence compiled in one neat tidy stack. Yeah, but we're about to throw it all away. Oh yeah, that's not great, huh? Well, uh, into the dumpster goes the evidence. At least it's not an incinerator. Yo, awesome Zos. He did give us a good compliment though. Oh boy, somebody is getting killed. Yeah, this is not good. We gotta do it, Melon. We gotta break in that door. Okay, we need to find the special key. Luckily, I know exactly where it is. Yeah, that was kind of helpful, the giant red exclamation point. Exactly. And now I'm unlocking the mysterious door. What do you think's behind here? I've got a bad feeling, Melon. It's our real boss and he's dead. Sonny, that's not our real boss. That's the fake. That's the fake zombie boss. Oh, fine. We'll leave. Let us go. Only five seconds. Chill. We gotta move. What the heck? How do I move? How do I move? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, Sonny. Run, Melon. Run. He's right behind us. Run. We have to leave. That was close, bro. Ooh. We're on to night four. It's time to unmask the evil. Why the heck did we come back, Sonny? Yeah, we, we keep leaving the office every evening, and then we come back to work anyways. This is kind of our fault. We're kind of the dummies. Yeah, I'm just gonna exit. But it's real dark in here, bro. It's real dark. Can you activate the power supply? I got you, Sonny. Oh, that's better. <sighs> but he also told us we had to work for 96 hours. How are we gonna let customers in? How can we get to work if it's locked? You're never gonna make any money like this. Bro, 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 bro. Wait, Melon, when the customer opens the door, that's that's our chance to make a break for it. Bro, he phased through the door. He didn't even open it. This man, his teeth are so filthy. He unlocked the ability to travel through time and space. And for that, I shall scrub his teeth extra well. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling this guy's dead. Oh no, he's bringing him into that room. This is where he extracts people's teeth. Sonny. I think he just lost his whole teeth. We gotta make sure he's all right. Hey, are you guys good in there? That's it, Melon. We gotta bust down the door. Bring Break down the door, Shunny. Nice one. What? There's some kind of secret basement. I got a bad feeling about this one. Uh, Sonny, the boss is sleeping. Be very quiet. And look around, bro. He's got skulls on ice everywhere. Uh, oh no. Wait, where's the real boss? There he is. Don't worry. We'll save you. We do now. I'm the real Bausch. Do you believe him, Melon? I believe him, Sonny. There's something in his eyes. Not the ray gone. I can't believe it. How could he do this to us? But we must save our real Bausch. What do you want to do, Melon? And wipe the evil boss's memory and save the boss or attempt to escape and leave our real boss behind to die. I won't leave the real boss behind. I would. Okay, fine. I won't. No. Wait, what? We're wiping the evil boss's memory. It's time. Grab the ray gun. Where's the ray gun? Oh, we already have it, Shunny. All right. I'll wipe your memory, huh? How about that? We can't even. It's time. Erase his memory. Come on. Please work. Please. Did it work? Uh yes, we did it. We got the good ending. We saved the real boss and defeated the evil one. Goats, this was the greatest horror game I've ever played. And the greatest thing you could ever do was press that subscribe button. Please do it now. Quickly. Otherwise, the evil dentist will extract your teeth. Today, Sonny and I play the backrooms experience in Roblox. We went to sleep and then all of a sudden, we woke up in the backrooms. We've been wandering around this place for hours and there's no exit. Not only that, but it feels like somebody's in here with us. Goats, like the video right now to help us escape. Melon, I'm scared. It's the first
first night and we're trapped in the back rooms. Oh no, Sonny. Uh, um, what kind of job is this? And where are we, bro? I thought the back rooms was a normal office space, but it feels like a never ending maze. Uh, Sonny, we've got to get out of here. Surely there's an exit somewhere. I think I'm just going to wait and be told what to do next because clearly we're not the first person to ever be here. I think we should find the USB stick. It's probably going to be useful. And then, Melon, we can plug it into the computer system and find out what's happening. All right. Well, maybe uh, the USB is right over by this question mark. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's just follow along, pick it up off the... Oh, no, Melon. It's not in this corner. We have to explore deeper. It's right here, Sonny. Don't worry. Oh, it's right next to this bazooka. Yep. And that bazooka we could conveniently use to defend ourselves. But for now, put the USB stick into the computer. I'm on it, Sonny. Sonny! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. There's a chance we can get out of here, Sonny. Okay, so we need to get the entity locator so we can track down the bad guys that are in the back rooms. And we're gonna have to look for food because we're gonna be hungry. Uh, that's fine. I'll take some food. Okay, let's remember that, Melon. On the third night, we need to find a white door. It's the only way. All right, Sonny. White door on the third night. What if we go and find the white door on the fourth night? Well, then we're already dead because you got to escape on the third night. But for now, we need to avoid... Avoid monsters and look for some food. Yeah, and it kind of feels like someone's watching. I know. And there's memes on all the walls. I just found this cat that's crying. There's a lot of notes that tell you how to get back to the main computer. That's true. So if you get lost, follow the walls. But for now, Melon, grab the food. I got one piece right here. Ooh, a bagel. Found a nice hot dog. Hot diggity dog. I got a hot dog. I got a bagel with sesame seeds. But we need to find the last piece of food. Wait, I found a whole vending machine. Yeah, but that's not good food, Sonny. We want that good good. I don't know, bro. I got an energy drink now and I can go quick with it. Alright, I'm gonna go track down this last piece of food, Sonny. It's right about here. You grab that. I'll explore the back rooms. Make sure there's nothing suspicious hiding. Mmm, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Hamburger. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Yeah, at least the food was edible, bro. It was actually pretty tasty. I don't know what that guy was talking about. Mm, I don't know, Sonny. I'm pretty sure food that spawns in the back room is old food that gets thrown in the garbage and it slips through the time space continuum falling here. Yeah, exactly. It's old, it's moldy, and it's like whenever your parents say, what about the starving children when you don't eat all your food? This is where it ends up, in the back rooms. Yeah, dude. It's not good. It's very soggy, it's gross, and it's very unhygienic. Yeah, but it's still edible. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. You're right, and I like hamburger. It's actually cheeseburger. Mmm, cheeseburger. We gotta go investigate the cameras, Melon. I saw one earlier. All right. Let me watch the cameras real quick. You do that. I'll go check them out in person. All right. Uh, I'm at the first camera. Everything looks fine, but something still feels off. Yeah, I'll tell you what feels off. We're stuck in the back rooms. We should probably try and get some sleep, Sonny. We're gonna need the rest. How can I sleep in a place like this? By sleeping. Oh, no. Night two. You're not alone. Melon, can you hold my hand? I'm starting to get scared. Oh! Yeah, I got you, Sonny. Hold my hand real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, brother. Thanks. I'll check the cameras, though. Come on. There's gotta be something on here. The great mystery of the back rooms. We're gonna crack the code and solve it like Sherlock Holmes. Ah! Who is that, Sonny? We're not alone here. And why is his face so creepy? It's like he's got huge, gigantic teeth. It looked like a cursed entity. Uh, Sonny, check to see if the computer's has picked up any signals. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just stay near the computer. It has all the answers we need right behind these screens. I'm hacking the mainframe and there was nothing there. Oh no. What if we're stuck here forever in the back rooms? It's okay, Sonny. We're not going to be. We have one opportunity to get out of here and that's on night three. I found a sledgehammer. Should we use this to smash through the doors? No, that's not a tool, Sonny. Obviously, you need Robux for that. All right. I'm gonna go grab the entity locator. I am zooming. Got it. How'd you find it that quick? The giant exclamation mark. No, but like you, you ran very quickly. Yeah, bro, I got energy drink. Dude, that's awesome. I should get an energy drink. Nah, they're not healthy for watermelons. Mm, that's true. That's true. I'll probably rot from it. Let me just place this down and upgrade our computer. Entity location device has 
been planted. All right, Melon, I'll let you test her out. All right, let me give her a little test run. And any entities nearby? Mm, didn't detect anything, Sunny, but we definitely saw that monster. Yeah, there's something in the back rooms with us. And I'm getting hungry again. Oh, no, more cold food. Let's go over this way. Now, nah, we got to split up to eat it all. As if I would share my pizza. I'm eating cheeseburger. It literally has a bite taken out of it. Ugh. <laughs> That's how you know it's nutritious. At least it means someone else was eating it, so it couldn't have been that bad. And I'm eating another bagel. Bro, that's all my diet consists of is bagels. Bro, you have that Bloxy Cola. Can you run fast? It's, it's an energy drink that looks like a water bottle or maybe Blue Prime. And no, I can't keep drinking it. There's a limit. You got a chug jug? Ooh, found the hot dog. Melly, this is my hot dog. Get out of here. Let me eat my hot dog in peace. No, that's my hot dog, Sonny. That's my hot dog. Let me eat my hot dog. No, nope, not letting you. Dude, dude, someone has to eat the hot dog. And it's gonna be me. Why don't we just share it? You know what? You have the hot dog. I don't even want it. Yes, old crusty mustard. Mustard come to me. You messed it up. I was trying to eat it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Sonny. It was an accident. It's fine. You eat it. I'm not eating it. That mustard is crusty and disgusting. I don't want to eat it. Now you don't want it after all that. Yeah, Sonny, you almost done eating it? Dang it. Mmm. Hot dog. Sonny, did you hear that? It sounded like computer static. Don't tell me we just got hacked. Main computer. I'm coming back, computer. Don't worry. Where is it? The sound melon. It came from somewhere else. You go take a look. I'll, I'll guard the computer. Uh, fine. I'll go check it out, even though you're the one with super speed. That's not the right way. Melon, I just really hope the bad guy's not Freddy Fazbear. Look at him. He's drooling. Bro, it's not gonna be Freddy. Don't worry. Sonny, I'm kind of scared. There's a camera set up here staring at the exclamation mark. Yeah, yeah, just click it. Nothing could go wrong. This must have been where the noise came from. It's a radio. And I think it's trying to trick you. Wait, but it's gone. What the heck? Where did it go? You picked it up, bro. We gotta go add it to our computer station. When I purposely spread misinformation on the internet, very funny. Wait, what the heck? Why would you do that? No, I was just reading a poster. Melon, not cool. I don't do that. Guys, don't do that. It's not cool. Unless you're spreading misinformation about Melon. Then it's hilarious. <laughs> like all those times he got put in a blender and juiced. Yeah, because they never actually happened. Well, Melon, I think I'm too tired tonight to test out the radio. Let's give her a try in the morning. Yeah, let's sleep, Sonny. And then try and find that white door. <laughs> All right, Sonny, wake up! Oh, sorry, sorry. I was, I was just dreaming. Another day here alone with no way out. There's gotta be a way out, bro. There's a doge photo. Someone came in, put it here, and left. We should check for any computer connections. Yep, I'll scan the computer now. There's a chance we're gonna see that entity, so brace yourself. Never mind, no results. Oh, yeah, we never tested out the radio. Let's give this a quick check. Come on, I wanna hear the bad guys. Or maybe a way out. Or absolutely nothing. Bro, I'm starting to lose hope. It's so low. Only. Can you check the entity locator? Yeah. Can you go look for some food? I'm looking, Sonny. I don't see any food except a banana peel. Entity locator. Something's up, Melon. Something's not right, bro. No, we're fine. We're fine. We just need to eat something. We can't be thinking about this on an empty stomach. We should also probably look for the white door, Sonny. Nah. I just want to eat this hot dog. All right, you go eat this hot dog. I'll eat this food over here, but I'm also going to search for a white door. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes out for it, too. Lots of dead ends. A lot of dead ends. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. And I found my delicious bagel. And I ate the burg. And I ate the bagel. A white door, Sonny. I told you, we need to be looking out for this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, dude. The voice on the radio told us to look for a white door and escape. Otherwise, you'll die. Objective. We must find the white door, Sonny. I'm looking around, bro. And I'm still concerned about that weird entity with the big teeth. Yeah, we haven't even seen him once yet. Hello? I found the white door. I'm leaving this world behind. See ya. Sonny, you found the white door? I didn't find the white door. Goodbye, Melon. It's making weird noises, but I think I can trust it. Oh, hey, Sonny. Hey, Melon. Where are we? I don't know, but you teleported me here. No! No, 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 no. Run, Melon! Run, Sonny! See ya! No, 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 no. You're leaving me in the dust right now. This guy's kind of quick. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're welcome. I teleported you. Now let's get out of here fast. You want green or red? 
bro. Oh, what am I gonna do? These are my two favorite colors. Yeah, why isn't there a yellow slide? All right, Sonny. I'll pick red. You choose green. Goodbye. I'm sliding out. Same here. Please, what ending do I get? Come on, be the good one. Be the good one. I gotta wait for the game to finish, Melon. I hope I escape. Yes, I got the good ending. I got the bad ending. I took the slide to the next level. Lol. Are you still playing? I'm dead, Sonny. I'm not playing. I'm I'm, uh, I'm just in the lobby now. Oh. <laughs> well, goats, if you want to see more scary game experiences where we get to the bottom of that entity curse, make sure you press that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Today, Sonny and I escaped from Barry's prison, but this time, he has his entire family. As we're escaping, we find the weirdest Barry family members. From this thick, double-cheeked up boy to Barry's extremely skinny uncle. What other weird family members does he have? Stick around to find out. Oh, no, Melon. We're trapped in prison again, but this time, Barry recruited his wife and son. Oh, no! Sonny, we've got to get out of here. It doesn't look like normal. There's no escape fence. You're right, bro. We're gonna have to destroy these golden bars and make a run for it! Ah! Wait, they don't see me. No, never mind. They're after me! Hold on. Let me break these bars. Oh, no! Wait, I made the getaway, bro. And what's this? I gotta get this milk. There's, like, milk on the floor. Maybe it'll unlock a secret room. Yo, you're right. One out of three, bro. Ow, I just got whacked by these guys. Yo, they're slow, Melon. How did you get caught by that family? Dude, is this one of Barry's siblings? Why is he locked up? Yeah, that's Uncle Skinny Larry. They didn't like him because he's not as thick. They needed him to fatten up a little bit. So they locked him in prison and they're forcing him to eat pizza with olive oil. Bro, this is so much different than normal berries. It's like a whole new game. Uh, yeah? And I didn't expect that vent to break. Now I'm running from Barry. Okay, I'm good. You you are a fool, Sonny. But also, what's that hit marker down there? You want to go explore that? Dude, it's just a more fun lock. I already checked it out. Okay. I got to jump fast this time. Here we go. I finally caught up. Sonny, there is a very creepy lizard. Ow! He's like a gremlin. What is that? Oh, that was creepy. Enough of this silly business, Sonny. We need to bounce out of here. Yes, let's focus up. And 360 off the trampoline. Oh, no. Sonny, he's back. And he'll kill you if you fall in. Ew, it's the sewer fishman, Barry. That looks so weird. Whatever, bro. I'm gonna flick this handle and cross over. Wait, what happens if you actually fall in? Does he come and kill you? Oh, he's eating me! Nice one, bro. I don't think that was worth testing out. I needed to see. That was a really cool animation, actually. And crank that soldier, and let's get across. Yeah, but what if he turned you into a fish monster as well? Let's look, Sonny. I'm a melon. I'm fine. Yo. I want to get to the other side of this, and maybe we can make it over to police station. Care. You just have to go this way, Sonny. For the police king. Yeah, why is this guy so weird? I never knew they had a secret lizard berry in the sewers. Yeah, lizard fish berry. Open this door. Yo, we're in daycare. Oh, look at it, little baby berry. We're gonna do. What are you gonna do? Nothing, because you're a baby, and all you have is a giant diaper on. Now give me this milk. Police milk best. Sonny, we just need one more of those, and then we can access whatever they give us. Yeah, but Melon, I need you to come back here and observe this for me. What do you need, bro? I found it. Proof that the world is flat. Take that, Globe Arthurs! No, Melon, let's not tell our viewers the world is flat. That's a bad idea. But it says it right here. The Roblox world is flat, full of Barry's prisons. So don't ever get trapped. Let's just open this up and leave now. And press that button and bounce, Sonny. Yeah, I bounced into my grave. It's okay, Sonny. Just try again. Try again, little buddy. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Just jumping over the blocks. And I'm gonna time my jump a little bit better this time. There we go. Are we gonna race that little police car you think? Oh, no, don't jump in there. Don't go in there, Melon. Sonny, I was gonna say, what police car are you talking about? This little one right here. You don't see it? Yeah, wait, maybe you can do some parkour. Yeah. Ah! I just realized, bro, in the background, those blocks spell D-E-A dead. Sonny, let's just dip out of here, bro. You're right. Opening this ventilation shaft and let's explore what's inside. Oh, wait, no. We gotta jump over him quick. We don't have to jump over him. <laughs> it just extended a bridge for us. You're right, bro. And now we're not dead. Instead, we are dads, like dads, because we just told that baby he can't mess with us. Exactly. Now let's move, Sonny, because it's very creepy in here. Whoa, there's an extra thick berry, Sonny. That's what I was gonna say, bro. Where did his neck go? Bro, what do you mean? He's got like four necks. Sorry, his chin. Where did his chin go? It is fused in with his neck, Sonny. It is the top roll. Uh, Melon, this is like the parkour ones where you have to go with your plank. Oh, no. Oh, 
total. I kind of want to know what happens when you drop down there, though. Yeah, well, why don't you let one of those big berries try it out? You don't even need planks for this. What was the point of the planks? They actually made it way harder, because look at this. I can hang off the side with a plank. Check it out. Ready? Huh. Huh. You see me? Yo, dude, you playing a risky game right now. Watch this. Huh. Uh, melon? No! Yo, he's like Shrek. He picked me up like an ogre. You are a fool, Sonny. Actually, I'm just dead. But now I'm gonna go across and beat the game. I was trying to glitch out of the map, but I could not do it successfully. That's okay. Let's just focus up and escape this place before we get turned into little watermelon dust. Oh, no. I don't want to get grinded to a pulp. No! Oh, no, Melon. You led us both to our death. Idiot. Literally, that was you, bro. Skinny Larry over here is fine somehow, but you and I got smushed. Dude, how are you supposed to make that jump? Carefully, like I just did. Hey, bacon hair, what's good? Sonny, why is your torso pink again? I don't want to talk about it, bro. Sometimes that just happens. I put a new shirt on. What the heck? Are you serious? How? Actually, Melon, you shouldn't be the one asking why my shirt's pink. It should be me accusing you. Let me guess. You took my yellow shirt and you washed it with all your red ones, and now it's pink. Sonny, you just have a girl's shirt on right now. It's okay. It's okay. Nah, bro, you did the long again and you mess my clothes up. It's okay. You're in tune with your feminine side. There's nothing wrong with that. Whatever, bro. I'm just escaping this prison so I don't have to deal with you anymore. And Sonny, we gotta keep our eyes peeled for this last milk. Oh, true, bro. Let me check behind this tree before we miss it. Nope. No milk. And I have been consumed by the doge. Bro, how did this dog eat you? They are so slow. Run. Run! Oh, no! That dog could eat you! There's a three-headed berry dog! You're right! He's quick, too! I gotta skedaddle! Or you could just hide up in the tree. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, but I'm just gonna skedaddle, Sonny. I'm just looking for the milk. I don't want to miss it, you know? Be cool, Sonny. Be cool. Alright, I'll try and stay cool and make this jump. Huh! Yes. And I'll flick this lever to open a castle door. Yo, it works. Bro, this is the coolest custom berries prison we've ever seen. It's so much better than the usual reskins. Exactly. Oof for life, Sonny. Oof for life. Yeah. And I'm going to pull this ladder down before I get oofed. Yo. Uh, Melon? Did you see this? There's a gigantic berry peering through the wall looking at us. Bro, he's so creepy. I'm trying to wash my hands, but the sink doesn't work. That's it. Time to dynamite this. Yep, let me grab the dynamite right in here. And plant it. Hey, I busted it open. Yo, that was dangerous. We used the dynamite while it was still in our hand. I don't think that was a great plan. Nah, nah, Sonny. It was a perfect plan. Not as perfect as this parkour, bro. I'm escaping this classroom before you can train any more Barry. Oh, no, they got me. I think Barry is trying to make a Barry's army. So we'll have more Barry prisons and imprison the whole world. Yeah, that's not good. We got to get out of here and report him to the FBI, CIA, and whatever other organizations can help. And we got to dip effective immediately. Because who knows how far along into his plans he is. Oh, Melon, I think he's pretty far into his plans. Have you seen how many different berries he's got? That's a mutant berry, Sonny. With a berry riding the mutant berry, open the castle door and let's get out of here. Oh, no. The mutant and Barry got me. It's okay, Sonny. You will be forever consumed. I can't believe he actually ate me. This dragon just killed me. A dragon Barry just killed me. Yo, this is insane. What the heck? Sonny, you have to jump on the ducks to get across. Really? Yeah. I don't believe you. I trust me. It. Trust me, Sonny. Okay, I'm gonna trust you, and if I die, this is the last time I'm ever gonna believe a single word that comes out of your mouth. I cross my fingers. I cross my fingers. I'm fine. Bro, the dragon just vaporized me. See, I didn't lie to you. The ducks didn't kill you. It was the dragon. Ayo, still got that checkpoint. Dude, these trampoline jumps are tough. Yeah, I don't know what's up with them. It's like you have to hit it perfectly. I found it. The final milk. Prisoner berry unlocked. No way, bro. You're getting every Easter egg. Look at me. You're the skinny berry, Larry. Yo, I'm actually kind of quick like this. I think it gives me a speed boost. Dude, that looks so weird. You are going fast, but you're just moonwalking. Yo, no. This is a boss berry. And now it's my turn to destroy him. Uh-oh, policeman. Where's my weapon? Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, Sonny. I'm blasting. I don't have anything to blast him with. Well, that sucks. I'm absolutely destroying him. Bro, his eyeballs look crazy. His face is 
is all kinds of messed up. He drank too much coffee. Dude, I'm just stuck here. I don't have any weapon to fight him with. That sounds like you problem, not a me problem. I've almost got him destroyed, bro. This boss fight was easy. All I had to do was shoot him in the mouth with a lot of missiles. Yes, I finally have a rocket launcher. And he's destroyed. Now I just walk around the pit and I should be good. Wait, you don't even have to move. Yeah, he was kind of low-key easy to beat. Give me a second, Sonny. Give me like two minutes and I'll be there. All right, I'm going to wait for you in my super duper car. This thing looks fast, bro. Four turbo jets. And they're dead. And I've waited long enough. I'm out of here. Wait, Sonny, I'm with you though. Don't leave me. Yo, get your own car. How do I even get on a car? Dude, you stole my car. My car, what is it doing? Was it flying for a second? Hey, yo, I made it. I beat the game. Sonny, I'll, I'll be there in a second. And then we need to report this to the FBI. The Federal Barry Investigations. That's true. We can't have any more Barry prisoners like this mutating and becoming more powerful. But we can have our viewers get goaded by pressing that like and subscribe button. Do it right now. Today, Sonny and I play the sleepover experience. Pretty much, we go to sleepover at our friend's house. We're chilling out watching TV, but then we hear breaking news. An evil uncle is on the loose. And guess who's coming over to the sleepover? Our friend's uncle. What does he want from us? Who knows? All I do know is that it's not good. Comment down below what you think this uncle is up to. Hey, Melon, welcome to the sleepover. There's no way our friend invited us over. Look how rich he is. Bro, ain't cool. Check out his backwards cap. Hey, yo, that's how you know he's cool with it. Oh, he's gonna show us around? Bro, he's got a modern mansion. Yeah, bro, that's actually so sick. Objective, follow your friend. Why was it so scary, bro? All we're doing is following this guy. Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird that it's so scary. Melon, why am I locked out? Oh, just follow us, Sonny. He's just showing us around the place. I know, I'm here. I'm right behind you. This is the living room? Okay, way to flex your TV on us. You had to tell me about how huge it is. <laughs> bro, it's not just a big screen TV. It's a cozy home theater. Yo, is this guy lagging or is it just me? Nah, he's waddling. Bro, he's moonwalking. This is where we can get the late night snacks. Yeah, you wish you had a kitchen like this, Sonny. Nah, I'm just gonna collect all the toy soldiers. How do I get the one out by the pool, though? Bro, you're about to jump scare me. Don't even try to jump scare me. No, look, I wanna get that little toy soldier. Bro, you just go out here, pick up the lantern. Melon, I just saw you look at the lantern and the pay to win head. I don't know what you're talking about about, Sonny. I don't know what you're talking about. I would never do such a thing. Whatever. I'm following our friend to the garage. Oh, another toy soldier. Yo, that's actually true, bro. I thought there'd be a supercar, but he's got like a poop mobile. His super, super Lamborghini is in the repair shop. Uh, Sonny, I think I ruined his audio. Yes, yeah, so let's continue the tour. I want to see what else you have. But of course, Sonny. Following our friend upstairs. Hopefully this is where the video games are. Yeah, bro. So far, he's just showed us all the boring stuff. Yeah, what do you think's behind this door? Uh, his bed room, obviously. He's about to show us this. Check it out. Okay, Melon, don't touch anything here except for the toy soldier. Give me that. Bro, there's another one out there, Sonny. Can you go get it, please? Yeah, I'll just grab it through the window. Ah! Ah! What was that? What was that? <laughs> I got him good, Sonny. Yeah, but I found another toy soldier at least. That was so scary. I don't know how you did that. Stop! Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're supposed to be checking out where we're having a sleepover, bro. Check it out, dude. There's four beds ready for a slumber party. You're right, Sonny. I can't wait. I dibs this one with the rubber ducky. Bro, wait. Something look weird about that rubber ducky to you? Let me see. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so good. Melon, if you do that again, oh, uh, I'm not going to react to it anymore. Okay, okay. I won't be scared. I, I won't be scared. I won't be scared. What's in the toy box, Melon? Why don't you take a look down there? All right, I'm done, Sonny. I'm done jump scaring. Once you buy it once, you can just spam it forever. Bro, that is cringe. That's it. Grab all the toys. I'm going to collect the rocket ship and the creepy FNAF doll. There we go. And over by the pool, what is this? There's a toy gun. I'm going to use this on the bad guy. Yo, we're going to need that, Sonny, because if he's a bad guy from our imagination, we're gonna need imaginative tools to take him out.
out. Well, it wasn't imaginary. It was a real gun. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, very, very serious. Now, can you do me a favor and return these items to the toy box? Okay, yeah, so hold E on the toy box eight times. And I'll collect this gold toy soldier. Bro, this isn't fun, dude. He's just making us do chores. Actually, this is chore simulator. I forgot to tell you that. Bro, but this isn't a sleepover. Whoa. Check out the toy box, bro. When you place them in, it looks awesome. Take a closer look. Wow, Sonny, that's so crazy. Ah! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Revenge! Stop doing it, Sonny. So I'll start doing it, and then we won't even be able to play the game. Stop doing what? Stop doing what? Stop doing what? Stop doing what? Stop it! I'm not doing anything. <sighs> Bruh. Let's listen to our backwards hat friend, okay? Let's see what's playing on television. I bet you it's gonna be some bad news about the neighborhood being attacked by this guy. Stop. Oh my goodness, Sonny. Ooh, toy soldier. You're right, Sonny. It is this guy. A <laughs> dangerous uncle. Yo, it is that guy. He's kidnapping kids. And they're never seen again, Melon. I don't want to be one of those kids. Then we must stay inside the house and chill with the homie. All right, I'm gonna stay safe. Bro, this guy is creepy. He said stay inside the house. Remember that, Sonny. Hold on. I just gotta go grab something from outside really quick. No, Melon, Melon, this is important. Our friend recognized the person from the news. The creepy uncle. Wait, actually, bro? On some other good news, I found a golden toy soldier. Nice. We just need two more. But I have a bad feeling that might be our friend's dad. Or our uncle. I think we'd know if it was our uncle. Well, his uncle. Because he said uncle on the loose. Melon, we need to build a pillow fort with 45 pillows. Are you kidding me? What even is that? What even is that? Are you serious? We gotta do this 45 times? Who makes these games? What is wrong with them? At least... Ah! Bro, I just found the scary uncle in a pillowcase. Did you actually, Sonny? No way. Ah, stop. You did it first. Yeah, but you deserved it. Why? Why did I deserve it? I don't know. It just sounds like you deserve it. Bro, I cannot believe this is really the game. Click on pillows 45 times. We did it, Sonny. We did it. And then hide. Look how cool these forts are. Look how cool it is. Melon, it's cool and all, but the power just went out. I'm gonna hide in the pillow fort, Sonny. I'm scared. You stay inside the pillow fort. I'll check outside with our friend Arino. No, oh, he's scared, bro. You gotta go outside alone. I can do this. I'm not afraid of anything. Do, do, do. Restarting the power. Nothing suspicious here. And Melon, I swear if you use the jump scare. I'm not gonna use the jump scare, Sonny. Don't worry. Okay, I'm trying to repair the power. This is a careful task. I need to be extra cautious and... What the heck was that? No, 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 no. That was creepy. That sound effect was so weird. Bro, that scared me. What was that, Sonny? Melon, stop doing that! Yeah. That's it. I'm grabbing this toy soldier. Yo, our homie wants to play hide and seek. He's gonna hide and we have to find him. I don't trust him, bro. I have a really bad feeling, Sonny. He's gonna go missing and die. Yeah, that's probably right. But in the meantime, at least I'll get the last toy soldier. Let's go! All right, we gotta find our friend. I'm checking the backyard. I'm gonna check the garage. Melon? <laughs> I found him. Did you actually? Tag. Yeah. Wait, is he hiding all four rounds? I'm not telling you. Where. Yeah, dude. We gotta find him again. He's gonna move. Oh, Sonny, I've got a bad feeling about this. Dude, he just hid behind the next tree. I still see him outside. Are you serious? Yeah, look, I got him. Bro, this guy is trash at hiding. He needs to watch some more Sonny and Melon videos. For real. Then he'll know the goaded hiding spots. But let's see if his third try is any better. Is he still outside, Sonny? I'm checking the side of the house. Why don't you check the interior? I am, bro. He's not in the pillow fort. He's not upstairs. He might be inside. Yes. Maybe he's in the pool. No, no, Sonny, he's he's definitely inside. Bro, he should have at least turned the lights out in the kitchen before standing up there. Bro, he's actually the worst at hide and seek. Sonny, I've got a really bad feeling about next round. Nah, he's not gonna go missing, bro. Everything's cool. I think we're only gonna find his head in the pillow fort. That's actually a great idea. I'll go check upstairs. Do, 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 do. Is he hiding in here? Bro, he's not even hiding up here. That would have been smart. Uh, Sonny, I've got a really bad feeling about this round. Around. He's probably just in the garage. No, he's not. It's not outside. Do you see him anywhere? No, I don't see him here, Sonny. Oh, I found him. He's outside. Maybe I can tag him through the wall. Wait, are you serious? Nothing happened? We were just actually playing hide and seek? Yeah, bro. He was just outside the kitchen. He's bored of hide and seek. He wants to play a new game. Ah! Sonny! Sorry, sorry. I thought we were playing a new game. Dang it, bro. You can't do that. Just answer the phone. I can't yet. Oh, let me pick it up. There we go. Uh... 
Uh, they sound friendly. Uh-oh. Bro, his uncle's coming over. Do you think it's the same uncle from the news? Wait, you mean this guy? Yo, stop! He almost gave me a heart attack. Hide before uncle arrives. Sonny, is, is his uncle gonna kill us? I don't know, but I'm gonna hide inside of the pillow fort. Oh, you can't. You have to hide under the bed, Sonny. Dang it. Well, I'm gonna hide under the one that had the rubber duck. And I'm gonna live. I'm definitely gonna live. Will we survive? There he is. Look at him with his strut, bro. Oh my goodness, he's levitating. What is the uncle doing? Uh-oh, Sonny. Why is he asking these types of questions? It's kind of weird. Uh-oh, Sonny. This is not good. Jake, don't rat us out. Thank you, Jake. He had our back. Kind of nervous for Jake. I think he's getting kidnapped by his uncle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bro, my heart's pounding. This sleepover's creepy. Oh, no, Sonny. He's gonna kidnap him. But maybe we can save him after. Oh, no. He's dragging Jake. <laughs> Help! Help! We gotta save Jake. Oh, no, Sonny. How could this guy do that? We have to rescue Jake. It's the only way. Okay, Sonny. We've gotta do something about this. Let's investigate. Secret basement. Bro, what the heck? Check the rooms. We need to find Jake, Sonny. Bro, why are there secret rooms under here? This feels like a dungeon. Yeah, this does not feel right. Yeah, just look everywhere, Melon. We can also abandon Jake if we want to. No, we're not gonna do that. It's, uh, it's just this way to abandon Jake. And then we'll survive. No, Melon, that's pure evil. I will save Jake. Ah! What is that sound? Uh, I don't know, Sonny, but I did not like it. it. Sounded like pots and pans falling. Okay, let's just check out the next room. I kind of want to go back for the lantern. I want to be able to see better. I'm scared. All right, I'm checking this next room. There's nothing in here. Wait, what the heck was that? I don't know. I'm coming back with a lantern so we can see. We're going in. No sign of Jake, Sonny. Just weird noises and creepy old furniture. He's got to be in one of these. Come on. Jake. Jake, we're looking for you, bro. Bro, what is this place? Wait a second. Melon, what if Jake's in on it? No, there's no way Jake's in on it, Sonny. He would have kidnapped us earlier. Oh, yeah, you're right. Why would he lie for us? Uh, Sonny? Oh, this is what he does to the kids he kidnaps. He puts them in sand. But it isn't Jake. Jake could still be alive. Bro, this is weird. It's like he's turning them into kitty litter. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Therefore, we must go deeper into the basement, Melon. It's the only way. We are going deeper. Ah! Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go, Melon. We've gotta run, Sonny. We've gotta run. Oh, oh, his uncle's gonna try and get us. Just follow the arrows. And his loud breathing is giving me the creeps. Bro, I feel like I'm in Rainbow Friends. Where is he? I don't see him yet, Melon. We should be fine. Yeah, we should be all right. Ah, run! <laughs> Run! Run! Don't look back! Oh, that was a close one. We need to unlock this hatch, though, if we're gonna escape. There's a couple of hiding spots, though. Yeah, I think we should escape through the exit. All right, Sonny, you run. I'm gonna hide and look for Jake. But how do I run? I can't... Okay, I'm escaping. I'll hide, Sonny. Escaped ending! You hid from the uncle and escaped after he couldn't find you. Let's go. Okay, let me in the closet to hide. Why am I just staring at the closet? Oh, I think I'm gonna die, Sonny. I think my game glitched. It thinks I'm in the closet, but I'm not really there. As long as you held E. Oh, uh, Sonny. I can hear him breathing. Melon, are you okay? Are you gonna survive? I don't know, Sonny. I can hear him breathing behind me, but I can't do nothing. What's happening? I just hear big breaths and I'm staring at a closet. I can't move my camera at all. Oh, oh no. He's at my closet right now, but he walked away. What ending did you unlock? I didn't get an ending, Sonny. He's walking away now. He's gone. I got the survived ending. You hid from the uncle and escaped after he couldn't find you. Nicely done, bro. You did it. But did you save Jake? Nope, I did not. I guess we'll have to save him in part two. And if you goats want to see that, just make sure you like and subscribe to our channel.